The Black Market Express was a steam train which ran through Balvano, Italy during World War II. Overloaded with stowaways, the train got stuck inside an uphill tunnel with the wheels spinning on the damp rails. The driver stoked the engine harder, but this just increased the dense smoke in the tunnel, effectively turning it into a giant gas chamber. 521 people were killed. The Granville Rail Disaster occurred on the 18th of January 1977 at Granville, a suburb in western Sydney, when a crowded commuter train derailed, running into the supports of a road bridge that collapsed onto two of the train's passenger carriages. 83 people died and more than 210 were injured. It's the deadliest rail disaster in Australian history. At 9.30, a freight train missed the red signal and derailed into the siding, leaving the locomotive and the leading tanker wagon obstructing the main line. A seven-carriage passenger train then struck the derailed freight train. The passengers used the emergency escape handles and started walking back to the station. The operators in the nearby signal box were too busy dealing with the aftermath of the first collision to notice anything else coming down the line. Six minutes later, an incoming passenger train collided with the derailed trains and hit many of the passengers who were walking down the tracks. The first carriage was smashed and the next three derailed, resulting in 163 deaths and 296 people were injured. The Saint-Michel-de-Maurienne derailment of 12th of December 1917 was a railway accident involving a troop train carrying at least 1,000 French soldiers who were on their way home for leave from the Italian front. A derailment as the train descended into the Maurienne Valley caused a catastrophic crash and subsequent fire in which more than 675 people died. It's still France's deadliest rail accident to date. On the 3rd of July 1883, the Clyde shipyards suffered one of their worst disasters. The SS Daphne was a 460 ton steamer to be used on the Glasgow Island run. As the ship was being launched from the shipbuilding yard, within three minutes she had rolled over and capsized with 200 workers who were still finishing the interiors still on board. It's estimated that 124 people died in this accident. The General Slocum was a pleasure cruiser which caught fire during a day trip on New York City's East River. The massive wooden boat had recently been painted with an inflammable white paint. A fire started below decks and quickly spread, engulfing the vessel. Passengers leapt overboard only to find that the old worn life jackets were useless. People drowned en masse. 1,021 people were killed. On the 9th of March 1976, the steel supporting cable broke as a fully loaded cable car was descending from Mount Sermis near the Italian ski resort of Cavalese. 43 people died, including 15 children. The only survivor was a 14-year-old girl who was on a school trip and was with two friends when the crash happened. High winds and negligence on the part of the operators were found to be the cause of this disaster.
A fully loaded Turkish Airways DC-10 took off from Orly Airport in Paris and crashed just minutes later. Cargo door had not been closed correctly, causing massive sudden decompression as the plane gained altitude. At the time this happened, it was the deadliest plane crash in aviation history. 346 people were on board. During the premiere of the Tales of Hoffman at the Ring Theatre in Vienna, a fire started when gas lighting behind the stage exploded. Actress tried to put the fire out, but failed. The fire spread rapidly into the stage scenery and then began to burn the audience stands. The fire brigade didn't arrive until half an hour after the fire started. The best estimates we have put the death toll at over 850 people. The merchant vessel Donna Paz, a grossly overloaded passenger ferry with no radio or life-saving gear, collided with the MT Vector, an oil tanker. The collision set the two ships and the surrounding sea ablaze. Neither ship had a working radio and no SOS was sent. Of all the people involved, there were only 26 survivors and an estimated 4,300 people lost their lives in what remains the deadliest peacetime maritime disaster. Please be sure to check out the channel. We do a lot more in-depth videos on disasters there. This is just a quick rundown of 10 that maybe you hadn't heard of or forgotten about. So drop a like, subscribe if you get chance, and I'll see you over in the channel where we've got plenty more videos coming up. Thanks.